we had this like code in the show where um we don't do last um, names in case a random youtube stalker was... wants to come and try oh, to find yeah, us and yeah, kill yeah. us we don't want no predators yeah i don't i really don't want any um predators yeah, yeah. we don't yeah. want that any predators like aka like a lion or a tiger that would suck or like the predators or a bear are, or oh bears right. oof forget about that lions and tigers and bears oh my you know it's even worse <laughs> that would like, be really scary uh, yeah that would be pretty scary yeah. Even like the alien predator that Arnold Schwarzenegger had to face in the 1987 movie. That forget about that. Jeez, I think it's lasers on its. Shoulder. Every episode you drop a nerd reference. And... I have no idea what you're talking about. It's not like I'm gonna drop another nerd <laughs> reference later on. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Auto Couch Talking Sports. As always, I'm Robbie. This is Kyle. Kyle, how are you tonight? I'm Kyle. I'm pretty good. How are you? Doing pretty well. I'm Robbie. I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> now that we got that out of the way. Um, so for tonight's episode, what we are going to do is we are going to be discussing brushes with fame. You know, brushes, brushes with fame. Uh, because, you know, surprisingly, we have actually both met, um, not that many, but a, a couple at least, sports celebrities during our yeah. time. And uh, so what we're going to do tonight is sort of take you back through those experiences and sort of talk about who we met and why and when and where and basically everything. So, I guess I'll kick us off here, because I've got... Don't actually kick anyone. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Kick <laughs> us off. Okay, I got you. The, the same. Sports, sports reference, you know. Pun, okay. pun completely intended. Uh, yeah, okay. there we go. Gotcha. Yeah, Boom. Boom. All yeah. right. All right. Um, but anyway, so, I've got, I've got two that I could think of. I, I think I have a third one, but let me see if I can remember as I go. But anyway, the first one uh, is a former Red Sox pitcher... Named Jim Corsi. He used to be a relief pitcher for the Red Sox. And I actually met him at a rug store in Natick when I was like 10 years old. I walked in oh, yeah, and yeah, I like yeah, and I like yeah. saw him and I was like all shy and nervous. And my mom actually approached him and he was really nice. Went out to his truck and actually got a baseball out of it and signed it for me in the middle of a rug store in Natick. So... That was really cool. I still have it to this day, um, along with other sports memorabilia that I've kept over the years. So that was actually a lot of, that was just a really, really cool experience. Very nice. Um, the second one that I have is ML Carr, who used to play for the Celtics. Um, I actually, I met him on two, I, someone met him on two different occasions. The first was, I was at a friend's birthday party, again, this was in like, elementary school at Longfellow Sports Club in Natick, and I, um, all of a sudden all my friends, like, started heading towards the gym, and I look over, and there he is, you know, playing basketball or whatever, and of course, me being my shy elementary school self, I was too nervous to go over and, you know, say hi with my friends, but then a, another day, it might have been even like a few days later, my mom and I saw him outside of a, uh, a drugstore, and so my mom actually had him sign a lottery ticket for me because <laughs> I was, uh, because I hadn't gotten a chance to meet him the first time. So that was actually pretty cool. Uh, and actually, I just remembered my third one, actually a fourth one, and I promise, I promise I'll be done after four. Uh, but I actually got a chance to play pickup football with uh, Greg Camella, who played for the New York Giants, uh, who uh, got to play in a Super Bowl for the Giants when they played the Ravens a bunch of, a bunch of years ago. Wow. And uh, he knew, a, uh, he knew a, a family that, that I went to school with the kids and stuff like that. Uh, and we went down to a local park and were playing pickup football. So it was pretty cool. Um, and then the last one, Kyle and I actually sort of have a joint experience here. We didn't actually talk to this person, but 
we did see them. Uh, Joe Kelly, starting pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, when we were at uh, Old School Pizza. I think I brought this up in like a past episode, but when we were at Old School Pizza, we actually sat right in front of Joe, at the table right in front of Joe Kelly uh, while we were having dinner. So that was pretty cool. And he, in typical... Yeah. Joe Kelly fashion wanted them to change the TV to, from a hockey game to a baseball game. So that was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, those are sort of my four main ones. So, well, three main ones and a fourth kind of, kind of main one. Uh, oh, so one. now I will turn it over to <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, Kyle. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, that was actually a pretty funny experience when we, we, when we saw him. See, I... I wasn't the one to pick up. Uh, he was actually the one saying, Kyle, do you know what that is? I'm like, and, and he was just kind of like, well, he didn't you know, point. He was just saying very subtly, just kind of nudging me like this. And I'm like, no, who is that? He goes, that's the picture for the Red Sox. I'm like, oh, yes. <coughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that was pretty cool. So, uh, well, my experience is, I don't have a whole lot. Um, really, my, I, I just have like kind of, yeah, about the same as you. I'd say about three. Um, I remember back when I was in elementary school, I went to the Red Sox, uh, sp- um, that, spring training in Florida. Correct. Fort Myers, Florida. Fort Myers, yeah. I've I mean, been there a couple of times. It's a really, really yeah. cool place, yeah. Nice area. You can find some mantis there if you ever want to go mantis watching, so, you never know. Could be a thing. Um, and <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, when I went to the Red Sox uh, training, I actually uh, was able to get, at one point, um, at the time, he was, um, I forget what position he played, but the, the guy, this guy, Shane Mack, I think he was a pitcher? Shane Mack. Who's he here? I, I think he's one of... Not, sh- not Shane Victorino. No, 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 no. His name was, like, Shane, Shane Mack. Mack? I uh, then your guess is good, man. I don't actually remember... Huh. A Shane Mack on the Red Sox, but I'm he sure is. I'm sure he was I'm sure he was there. He was there, <laughs> so yeah, he signed my uh, my baseball, so that was cool. That was pretty. That's <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was uh, and um, the other one, let's see. Um, oh, uh, I, I sort of had a bit of a run in. So when I was in, so I'm gonna kind of jump ahead into high school. Um, when I was doing track in the spring, actually. Um, uh, one of Doug Flutie's sons played for the baseball team. Nephew. Oh, nephew. Yeah, nephew. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, his yeah, son... Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. His, his nephew was probably younger. He was, they were probably closer to our age, actually. Um, but his nephew actually played for uh, the baseball team <coughs> at Wellesley High, so... Nate... Nate Kai. No, no... Oh, wait. His nephew's played for Nate. Oh, for Nate... Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Flutie passed. Okay, all right. Anyway, <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, so this how much about yeah, sports. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, th- that's right. They were that's right. They were against Natick that day. So um, Doug Flutie was in the uh, was in the crowd. So I remember when I was getting done with uh, track practice, I actually I remember people were telling me, "Oh look at shit, it's it's, uh, it's Doug Flutie." I'm like, "Oh cool." So I did kind of walk past him. You know, we didn't say hi because you know he was very focused. You just stared at him so. awkwardly. And we did it like, uh, hey. <laughs> um, and I, I gotta say the third one, um, I saved the third one um, best for last, um, was actually um, a man I, I knew very well. Um, I actually didn't just meet him once. Um, I met him, um, well, I, I used to do a basketball camp with him. Uh, Casey Jones, um, famous player of oh, the yeah, Celtics. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. And I actually became kind of good friends with him, my family and I. Well, my, yeah, my dad and I got to know him pretty well. So I, I used to take like a week camp down down the Cape. Um, and he had a, a really good program. He really actually, he like, he really did a good job teaching basketball to everyone. He, they got some great coaches there. And yeah, it was actually a really good experience. I did it for a couple summers um, back when I was in middle school. And I even saw him actually a couple times at once or twice at a uh, at some Celtics games. So... Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool, actually. And, nice I actually. and I actually just thought of, when you were saying that, there are actually two, I, there are actually three um, pro sports, past and current, who have actually, I've either known or seen in, Wells, in Wellesley, um, Ray Allen, obviously used to live in Wellesley, and he oh, actually, yeah. I didn't actually yeah. like meet him directly, but his daughter played 
for the Wellesley High School basketball team for a season, so I'd always see him at those games. Yeah. And also, he worked out at my gym for a few months at one point, so nice. I'd always see him at my gym. And then, oh, I didn't uh, know about that. That's yeah. pretty sweet. And then uh, Danny Ainge, uh, you know, president and former player for the Celtics, you know, had kids in town, and I coached the league and stuff like that. So I actually knew him pretty he pretty pretty decently because he did his sons did terriers and stuff like that. And also uh, Nate Fryman, who I've brought up on the show before, you know, oh, yeah. played pro ball for the Oakland Athletic or. Plays in the Outflex organization, but actually a couple years ago I got to play the whole season for the A's team themselves. Nice. Um, so yeah, so actually I just yeah I realized I've actually had a quite a few brushes brushes of fame so to speak. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. Yeah, it's it's a pretty cool thing whether you meet somebody in general or just see them sitting down to dinner. Uh, yeah. It is a really cool thing. That's pretty sweet. Thank so. You. All right, so now that we've gone through all that, we're going to move on to the sort of end portion of our episode here, our monologues. Uh, I'm going to go first. Uh, there, there are a couple of... I, I don't really have like a real... I didn't really have a really well-prepared monologue this week, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. Oh! But, oh, he's uh, the only one with not prepared monologue. Oh, interesting, huh? But I do want right. to give a shout-out to a couple of Wellesley High School teams who are doing pretty well. Um, in state tournament play, the Wellesley High School girls volleyball team who uh, advanced to the sectional finals with a three nothing sweep over Natick Whoa. on uh, Tuesday night. Yeah. So congrats to the Raiders for that one. They will be facing nice. Concord Carlisle on Saturday in the set. Uh, the, I almost said South sectional finals in the Central West sectional finals. Mm -hmm. And then I also want to give a shout out to the Wellesley High School boys soccer team who last night knocked off. Their arch rivals, the Needham Rockets, <laughs> won to nothing in the Division I South Sectional Semifinals. Yes, I am saying this because my girlfriend Maddie is sitting right off to the side here. And she obviously, well, I don't know if we mentioned this the last time when she was on, she is a Needham alum. So I, you know, I she has have a look to, of agony right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even looking like, over. I'm not even looking over there right now. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, congratulations, Raiders. They will move on to face Brockton <laughs> in the Division I South Sectional Finals. I'm, still, I'm not looking over there in the, on Saturday at Marshfield High School. So good luck to the Raiders. Good job defroning the defending state champion, Nita Brockton, <laughs> last night. Kyle, go go ahead. I know you actually prepared something this week. That, down. That was not a little, that's a little bit unsports-related. Or well, not not sports related at all, but here's anyway, the thing. Continue. Here's the thing. Just keep so, it, yeah, sports wise, no, it's not related at all. But we did. We're we are on the subject of celebrities, so I figured, you know what? I wanted to actually um, this week, this past weekend, I wanted to mention that I went to the Rhode Island Comic Con, which was a blast. It was so much fun. Um, you can, they had like all kinds of stuff there. They had like. Comics, of course. I mean, Comic Con. <laughs> what else? <laughs> what else no, really. Like? There are comics at Comic Con. No, you you could have surprised me. What the hell? Is it? What the <laughs> comic? No. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so, and uh, like you, you can. I mean, there's there's a lot of other stuff too. They have rare DVDs. Like, um, um, they had like toys and Legos, all kind of stuff. It's all it's. It's a great place for kids, for nerds alike, you know. And uh, the also the big attraction was they actually had their own celebrities as well. Um, they had famous people over the weekend like Ron Perlman, um, the rest and the rest of the cast of the Hellboy movies. Um, if anyone's seen Hellboy, well, anyways, I, I won't get into that. Um, <laughs> they had um, the voice of Batman, Kevin Conroy. They had the original 1990s Power Rangers. I kid you not, they did. <laughs> And um, when I was there, I was um, very lucky to meet um, one of my idols from when I was growing up, since I was five. I always loved the Superman movies, I'm sure as viewers um, know. And I finally got to meet the actress who played Lois Lane right here, right there. See that? <laughs> That's me right there, with Margot Kidder. That is the original Lois Lane from the Christopher Reeve movies. So, yeah, she was very nice, really fun to talk to. So we yeah, kind of nerd about Canada a little bit because she's also Canadian like me. So that was, uh, was pretty cool. Um, yeah, and she even claimed that Montreal was the best city 
in the whole continent. And I said, I agree. I have nothing against Montreal. I just don't happen to like a certain sports, a certain hockey team from Montreal. I don't know what hockey team you're talking about because all the hockey teams are spectacular and everyone loves them over there. So, I don't know. Boo the Canadians. Yeah. I just want there. <laughs> uh, we have fun. We do. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad though you got to meet an idol. Uh, that's that. That is even though that had nothing to do with sports. That is definitely sticking with the theme of celebrity meetings there. So I'm glad you got to sort of go off on your little tangent there <laughs> and uh, uh, share that with the rest of the world. Even though. Probably everybody has turned off the episode by now after hearing that. Go, oh, I don't want to hear nerd stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. So, that's going to do it for this latest installment of On a Couch Talking Sports. As always, he's Kyle. I'm Robbie. Signing off. We'll see you next time.